Hi, I'm Scott Elliott. I live in Lewis Center, Ohio, which is a uh, suburb of Columbus on the north part of town. And I'm here to tell you about the solar system that's on my house. Uh, the house is in the background, and that's the front of the house. And the panels are on the back side. So let's go back and take a look. Here we are at the back of the house. And uh, the panels are up top on the roof. So we'll uh, take a look at those. The range of solar panels that I'm using are Kyocera, and each panel is 200 watts. There are a total of 11 panels. The top row, there are four, and the bottom row, there are seven. Uh, the total capacity of the system is 2,200 watts, or 2.2 kilowatts. Directly below the solar panels on the outside of the house, there are two important devices for, for the system. The first on the right-hand side is a disconnect switch. The disconnect switch is required by National Electric Code, and it allows the utility to be able to disconnect the PV system from the grid in the event that they need to do any kind of maintenance and want to ensure that there's no possibility that electricity is being exported to the grid while they're working. This ensures the safety of their uh, linemen as they uh, work on the grid. The device on the left is our electric meter, our utility is American Electric Power, and as a net meter customer, they replaced our standard meter, the one that would spin around that most houses have. They replaced it with a smart meter. Now this meter has a digital display that will show the accumulation of kilowatt hours into the home. Um, but in addition to that, it has communication ability so that the utility can remotely access the meter at any time um, from their offices. It's through a radio transmitter so that they can tell um, at any point in time exactly what the system's doing. The meter also has the ability to uh, record the kilowatt hours that get exported to the grid. So any time that we are generating more electricity than we're using in the home, that excess electricity is getting sent out to the grid and this particular meter has the ability to record that as well. We're now down in the basement, directly below where the utility meter was on the outside of the house. Now, the solar panels themselves will produce electricity in the direct current form, or DC. Now, DC is uh, not typically a usable form of electricity in residential households, and it needs to be converted over to AC, or alternating current. So, from the uh, solar panels, there's an electrical line that runs down the side of the house and comes in to the basement through the wall. Um, I'll point out here, this is where it's coming in, and then it runs down here in the conduit into this inverter. This is a Sunny Boy inverter, and as I said, what its job is is to convert the DC electricity that's coming into it into alternating current electricity, which will come out on the other side. And then the AC comes out. We have another disconnect switch. It's similar to the one on the outside of the house. And it's a device which allows you to disconnect the system by throwing the switch if you ever need to do maintenance on the system. From the disconnect, the line runs into our circuit panel. This is just a typical circuit breaker panel that you'll find in most residential households. And inside the panel here, you basically have one uh, circuit breaker. It's a 15 amp double pull switch that the PV system is wired into. And typically when the uh, solar panels are working and they're producing electricity, electricity is going to come in through here and then it will get distributed throughout the rest of the house on any loads that we're using at the time. And if it's a, an occasion where we're not needing as much ele electricity as the system produces, then we have excess which gets sent out to the grid. And the way that that happens basically is that the um, electricity will then flow out of the, the line. It's, this is the line that comes in from AEP from the meter. It will flow in the opposite direction out into the grid.
Now the last part of the system that I'd like to talk about is this device right here. This is a Sunny web box. It is a data logger which connects into the inverter here and it also has an Ethernet connection to connect it to the internet. Um, this device is uh, made by SMA America which is also the manufacturer of the inverter and what it does is it logs data about what the system is doing, how much power it's producing at any point in time, how much energy it is produced over the course of time, over you know, every day or week or month, etc. And the other part to this data logger is there's an internet portal that SMA America runs and it will upload the data there and that data then gets processed into graphs and charts which will show how much energy the system has produced. And we'll take a look at that next. Here we are at the Sunny Portal website. This is the um, central web portal which allows you to look up the uh, production information for your photovoltaic system. The uh, address is sunnyportal.com and on the main page here at the bottom right there's a link that says publicly available plants where you can search for um, any system which uses this service. If you type Elliot in to where the plant name is in search it will come up with our system. So the uh, first page that comes up just gives a general overview about our system here and it gives a summary of how much energy it has produced. Um, here's some data for previous years in 2007 and 2008 the system generated about a little bit over 2,000 kilowatt hours in, in, in during the course of the year. Our house is about a 2,000 square foot home and uh, we have five people living here and this accounts for about 25% of the energy that we use every year. Um, I'll show you an, another example of, of, a, of a chart here. This shows us how much data or how much energy was produced today. Today is August 15th and this uh, shows us every hour of the day you can see here starting about 8 a.m. the system starts producing energy and then it increases throughout the day until you hit the middle of the day it reaches a peak looks like for today it was about 1700 watts is the, is the peak energy produced for the day and then as the day goes on um, the energy decreases and kind of tails off until about 8 p.m. when uh, it stops producing energy. So this is just an example of a couple of the charts and the data that you can get from the website that uh, will allow you to keep track of all the energy that your system has produced.